create content is to let you create different tasks and then get different content for different purpose. Today we will show you how to create and run various tasks. Here are 6 tasks that you can create, and we will introduce them one by one. 1. How to create a task for the content creator. Content creator is to scrape the content according to the template we created before. Click Create Task button to select Content Creator. In this interface, select the template that you need. Here, we will select the template we created before, and you can view it in our front video. After finish it, click Next button to set some value for the template. The last step is Step 1. But now it is Step 3. Because some template you selected contains the content sources which are needed to set some value for them. Some templates do not contain this, and the system will skip this step and then go to the next step automatically. Let's select another template to have a look. See, this template has the step 2. Here, first click Settings button to set some value for the spinner that you need. There are the spinner tools that you can select. Here, we will use these two tools as an example. First, about the X spinner, you need to input the X spinner's IP and port. Here, we will show you how to get its IP and port. If you have downloaded this software, please open it directly. If not, Please download the White Hat Box app in whitehatbox.com. And then find the software X Spinner to download it. Here we will select the free version to have a show. Click the Run button. Fill in the information, and then click Login button. About the serial number. Here. You need to click this and then copy the serial number to this place. Please do like we do. First, you need to select one language and then click this button to download it. After finished it, click this button to enter the program. In this interface, click this button. See, this is the information that we need. Copy them, and then paste them here. Here, you need to click the Start button to run it, and then this software can process the content by this program. Now, copy an article to test whether the information we filled in is correct or not. See, it has been set successfully. Besides, you can also set some value to process the content in X Spinner. This part is the basic settings about your article. Here are three types about X Spinner. They are Free Spin, Normal Spin, and Super Spin. No doubt that the Super Spin is the best, and the quality of the article will be higher than the other versions. Select the Free Spin. Set the basic value for it. Now select the normal spin. See, the settings are much powerful than the free version. And the functions are very simple, so we will not introduce them. Select the super spin version. Here are two methods that you can select. One is the spinner chief 3 and the other is the spinner chief 4. Please visit this site www.whitehatbox.com to know more information about Spinner Chief 3 and Spinner Chief 4. In this field, 
you can change the host file for the domains that you selected, and it is only for WordI, TBS and SpinWriter. About the Spinner Chief 4. Please visit this link to sign up an account. Input the information, and then copy an article to test whether the account is available or not. See, it has been set successfully, and then click Save. Now, select the spinner that you just set some value for it. Click Browse button to select the folder path to save the result we just got. This is to select the amount of the content you want to scrape. Here, input any name for this task. After set all, click finish. Now, we have created this task successfully. Let's have a test for it. Select it, and then click run button. See, every progress of the task running has been recorded in the log information. Click Clear Up button to delete all the log information of this task. Click Stop button to stop the current task from running. Click Edit button to modify the task's value you just set. Click Open button to open the saved folder of the task, and all the content you scraped has been saved here. It does not scrape anything in this file because the template C we selected do not set some value for it, so let's set some value for this template, and then check the result again. Input some keywords you want to search in online content option and image option. See, it has been scraped the content successfully. Click delete button to delete the task. Besides, you can also use some proxies to run this task. Select proxy settings. Here, you can add some proxy into this list through these options. Or check this button to get proxy from URL. Here, we will add some proxy manually.
Click this button to remove some invalid proxy, and you can set which URL to check, the timeout, the thread amount and so on. This one is to make sure which proxy to use. After set all, click save settings button. That is all for the content creator. 2. How to create a task for the content downloader. Content downloader is to download fully content directly from a content source without any mix rules, templates etc. Click create task button to select content downloader. Here, input any name for the task. Here are three content sources that you can select. Select one or more content sources where you want to download the content. Then click this to set some value for it. We have introduced this part before, so here we do not describe it anymore. This part is the scrape and output options, set some value for it according to your needs. This one is to set the download amount and where to save the result. After set all, click create button. Click the run button to have a test. And then click the open button to check the result. See, this is what we have scraped. That is all for the content downloader. 3. How to create a task for the content inserter Content inserter is to insert image, video, link and variable to the content which saved in the local file, and then generate a new content. Click create task button to select content inserter. In this interface, input any name for it. Click Add Files button to add the files which have saved the contents before. In Local Image option, check this button, and then insert some images to these contents from the local file. These three options settings are just like the settings of image. After set all, click create. Click the run button to have a test. And then click the open button to check the result. See, this is what we have scraped. That is all for the content inserter. 4. How to create a task for the keyword writer Keyword writer is to replace the keywords in your local files and output new files. Click create task button to select keyword writer. In this interface, input any name for it. Click Add Files button to add your local files. The function of these two options is to replace the original keywords with the new keywords. We have introduced these options, so we will not describe it again. After set all, click create button. Click the run button to have a test. 
and then click the open button to check the result. See, this is what we have scraped. That is all for the keyword writer. 5. How to create a task for the image scraper Image scraper is to scrape pictures based on your keywords and save the image link into a text file. Click Create Task button to select Image Scraper. Input any name for it. Here, input the keyword to search the image that you need. After set all, click Create. Click the Run button to have a test. And then click the Open button to check the result. See, this is what we have scraped. Image Scraper task is just to scrape the image link. The next is the Video Scraper task. The creation of its task is very similar with the Image Scraper. So we will not show it again. Besides, for these tasks, you also can run them one by one after finishing the settings for them. Recently, there is no function to batch run them, but we will add it in the future. Now, click Create Task button to select About Me Builder. In this interface, you can click Generate button to get the author's introduction automatically. Here is to insert some customized keywords that you need into the content. Click Copy button, and then paste them to the place that you want. That is all for the Create content. Now, all the preparatory work has been done, so in the next video, we will show you how to submit the content.